right, next up is Igzu, Zachary Anderson, and Courtney McCoy. Come on up. Good to see you guys. All right, you got your timer here and your mic's there. Awesome. So what if you were able to bottle arguably some of the most sustainable crops in the world? We did just that and Igzu was born. I'm Zach. And I'm Courtney. Sustainability fueled our explorations, unique health benefits validated our finding, and an opportunity to do good ignites our passion for the future. Igzu is the first ever bottled bamboo leaf tea. Infused with aloe vera, we've created an organic, hydrating beverage great for you and the planet. Drinking bamboo and aloe? We get it, it might sound a little bit crazy. But both of these amazing plants have actually been consumed for ages. You're probably familiar with how sustainable and versatile bamboo is, but it also has been consumed for thousands of years across parts of Asia and South America. As for aloe vera, it isn't just for sunburns. Consuming aloe dates back even further. The ancient Egyptians even considered it the plant of immortality. These ingredients clearly have stood the test of time, most likely for the unique combination of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. From aiding in detoxification to benefiting your digestive system, these ingredients don't just make Igzu great tasting, also make Igzu great for you. Speaking of great taste, Igzu tastes similar to a light green tea. Refreshing, crisp, with just the right amount of sweetness, and 40 calories in an entire 16 ounce bottle. We handcrafted these recipes in our own kitchens and are launching with three debut flavors, elderflower citrus, lavender peach, and hibiscus blackberry. We searched high and low for a source of USDA organic bamboo leaves, and when one didn't exist, we created it, establishing this supply exclusively to Igzu. Now for a dose of the feels. Our partnering farms also take pride in their ability to elevate the quality of life for their employees, and each have taken huge steps to ensure the overall well-being of the people that truly make all of this possible. Igzu is committed to donating 1% of all sales to the preservation of this little planet we all call home. We've proudly partnered with several nonprofit organizations, allowing our customers to do good not only for themselves by consuming Igzu, but also a greater good for the planet. So thank you again, and hopefully we'll be able to share more with you tomorrow. All right, nicely done. Um, Sort of two beverages in one. You got an aloe vera beverage, you got a bamboo leaf tea beverage. Did you get all that, Ken? I thought that the taste was good. I, I mean, we, this was sort of at the end of our table, and I tried the hibiscus, and I thought the flavor was good. Um, I've got some questions about how concise the message is communicated on the, on the label, and, um, you know, I don't necessarily get the name, but, you know, if, if it's in the bottle, that's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Uh, John, we've seen some uh, aloe plays on the market, quite a few actually. Um, where do you stand on uh, Igzu? Um, well, I, I really like the, the concept and the flavor of it. Um, I think, you know, the execution of it, kind of like what Ken said, you know, I would just make the brand really all about bamboo. Um, you know, Igzu is kind of meaningless. Aloe just seemed like it, you know, detracted from what they were trying to do. Like, I would just kind of refresh the brand and just really, you know, hone in on bamboo. Mm -hmm. Fred, what's your take? I think uh, I always thought of it as an aloe drink because that's the first thing I saw, then bamboo. So it was inter interesting to see them say the first bamboo tea on the market. Um, for me, the brand identity doesn't really have a soul or anything that's unique or proprietary. So as soon as you strip that off and put it on collateral materials, there's nothing there that I think is recognizable. It's a word mark inside of a circle. It's, it's been done before. So I think, you were, like you were saying, uh, a refresh or redesign of some sort could really help elevate the overall proposition of the brand. Mm -hmm. um, Rebecca, scaling the brand is what you guys are all about. Um, is this scalable? I don't know, not yet. I think um, I, it was lost on me that it, I thought it was a fusion of two categories and then to find out it was really a bamboo tea, I think that's their differentiator. Mm -hmm. I don't know how scalable that is yet. It's really the first time seeing it. Um, something to watch, tasted good, low calories, nice backstory in terms of the sustainability, but I just, the bamboo piece was totally lost on me. Okay, Kevin, you get the last word. Yeah, I think the, shared the same thoughts as everyone else, the only thing I would add is that it's, it, it's, it's, it's kind of exotic, I'd like to see the packaging be more exotic. It was kind of a more of a, just a standard package, which we understand at this point, sometimes it's hard to make that kind of investment up front. But if it's going to be an exotic beverage, it'd be interesting to see it be an exotic package. All right. Really good feedback.